Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a fellow boater with lithium batteries asking uh, some questions about what's going to happen when my BMS disconnects my batteries. So let's go through the question. And this question is from Gary. Gary, thanks for uh, submitting your question, by the way. I'm installing four 170 amp hour, 12 volt lithium house batteries in parallel that are combined with a 4D AGM start battery via a Blue Seas automatic charging relay. So in this instance, this boater has four lithium batteries, 170 amp hours each, and also has a 4D AGM battery. Each battery has its own BMS, which you would expect. My concern is for a scenario where all the BMS is shut off charging input. Will the AGM absorb the load without a momentary disconnect from the alternator, causing the alternator to run without a, blow, a load blowing the diodes? By the way, the regulator is externally controlled with a via Balmar 614. Any other red flags on my install? Well, first of all, Gary, very good questions. And you've been doing your homework. Clearly, you've been reading online and educating. So learn first and then do. Okay. So when you have, it doesn't matter that you have one battery, four batteries, or 10. Either way, if one battery potentially they could all behave the same way. So let's take the confusion of having four batteries out and let's just have one lithium battery and one AGM battery. Having four or 10 is really the same. So when you've got a lithium battery and an AGM battery, the question is, how are you and where are you gonna connect your alternator to? Because your BMS on your battery might at one day, especially if you're motoring for a long time and you don't have a lot of loads, might say, you know what, enough, that's it, basta, nada mas. It's my little Spanish here. Meaning, I can't do it, enough, can't do no more. So what happens in those situations? Well, when the BMS disconnects the battery, and especially if it's a sort of nominal uh, battery, that lithium battery that doesn't have a charging post and a load post, you're gonna basically lose it all. So your battery's going dark. When that happens, an alternator can never be disconnected when running, i.e. when turning, and i.e. when your engine is engaged and turning. Either that doesn't matter if you're in idle or not. As long as the engine is actually turning, your alternator is most likely outputting. In this case, this alternator is controlled by an external regulator. And we have, by the way, love external regulators. Like, I'm not joking. Love them. Pretty neat, perfect device or close to it. We've got lots of articles on external regulators on our website. Again, probably over 100. If you want to geek out, you can geek out on external regulators. I'm pretty passionate about them. So this fellow has an external regulator on his alternator. And he's worried, and rightly so, by the way, what's going to happen if his lithium battery bank of four batteries says enough? Well, what you want to do in this situation is either you can do two things. Either you can have your alternator be connected directly to your engine AGM battery, right? And then you could share the alternator charging voltage to the lithium bank via one of these. This is a battery combiner. It's a device that basically puts two battery banks in parallel whenever there's a charging voltage. So that could be one option. And so even if your lithium battery bank said no more, that's okay. Basically the parallel link would lose a battery, but the alternator is always connected to the engine battery. So that's one way. Another way is if you're having your alternator directly connected to your house battery bank, in this case, a lithium battery bank, well, this is where it gets interesting. If you have a battery combiner, again, connected between your engine and your house battery, right? What's going to happen if your alternator loses its connection to your house battery? Well, it's very possible in that moment when the BMS blocks off, you're hoping that this is going to stay engaged, but you know, there's no promises. If this, for whatever reason, disengages, then you're hooped. Your alternator is going to have no more connection to your lithium bank and your alternator will blow up. So instead of putting a battery combiner, another alternative would be to put a battery isolator. A battery isolator is sort of one input going to two outputs, okay? It's like a Y, right? And so the alternator comes in, goes to two places. Lithium is here, 
AGM starter batteries here. The good news in this situation is even though the lithium battery might go dark and simply disconnect, the battery isolator will still give a path to the AGM starter battery and your alternator won't blow up because there's still an alternative path. So really there's two ways to slice and dice. You have your alternator go directly to your engine battery bank and then have a battery combiner go to your lithium or you have your alternator go to a battery isolator, which in turn is connected to both the lithium and the AGM battery. So that's how I would tackle this problem. And uh, Gary, honestly, your question seems like you're doing a lot of your homework. And I bet this project's going to go well for you. Yeah, those were really good questions. And thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.